When the retired police dog, Zena, stumbled upon a suspicious tree, her incessant barking prompted her owner to call the authorities. What the cops found inside the hollow trunk was shocking, unveiling a terrible secret that threatened to undermine the force from within. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. Zena, a retired police dog, instilled such trust in her owner, John, who believed in her instincts. Their bond was so strong that John allowed her liberties beyond those of a typical dog, such as running off leash in the woods. However, on this particular day, Zena seemed unusually restless, sniffing the air and growling as she ran ahead, ignoring John's commands to return. Struggling to keep pace, John followed her desperate barks until he discovered her fixated on a large dead tree. With Zena's training, John suspected she had detected something significant, although he couldn't discern what it was. Hesitant to involve the police prematurely, John searched for clues, attempting to pry away bark until a sharp rock revealed a startling discovery, a human hand. Shaken, John immediately contacted the police, explaining Zena's find. They dispatched Jerry, Zena's former partner, to investigate. Jerry, who held unwavering trust in Zena's instincts, rushed to the scene. Their partnership had endured many trials, including a previous injury Zena sustained while protecting Jerry during a dangerous case. That's why she was retired from the force. While he was hospitalized, they had already put her up for adoption without informing him, a devastating blow. The lack of communication about her new owner added to his distress. Having the opportunity to bid farewell was a poignant moment for him. When Jerry arrived at the forest, he immediately heard Zena's barking. Drawing closer, he commanded her to stop, prompting her to race towards him. Though her behavior defied training, it was evident she had missed him dearly. She eagerly greeted him, even inspecting his old injury, almost as if ensuring his recovery. John approached to explain the discovery, also curious about Zena's excitement towards the stranger. Recognizing the bond between them, he respectfully stepped back. Jerry, focused on the task at hand, proceeded to inspect the tree, encountering a shocking sight. Additional police officers were called to secure the area and preserve evidence. Despite John's attempt to leave, Zena remained steadfast, accustomed to staying at crime scenes until her assistance was required. Thus, John found himself compelled to stay as well. Witnessing the forensic team unravel the bark revealed a series of startling objects. As they exposed a human form trapped inside, the situation grew even more astonishing. The discovery of the clothing proved to be even more shocking than finding a human presence within the hollow tree. Adorned in a police uniform, the body exhibited extensive bloodstains, raising immediate alarm. The name tag bore the inscription, Mick, yet upon closer inspection, something seemed awry about the individual extracted from the tree. Upon verification by the forensic team, it was confirmed. What they had unearthed was not a human, but a doll meticulously dressed in authentic police attire, its garments stained with genuine human blood. The perplexing question remained, why was an officer's uniform draped over a doll nestled within a tree, and how had it become tainted with blood? Determined to unravel this enigma, Jerry resolved to seek assistance. Recognizing the invaluable aid his old partner Zena could provide, he sought John's permission for her involvement. John, relieved at the prospect of being relieved from the scene, readily consented, acknowledging Zena's eagerness to aid in the investigation. Jerry equipped Zena to scent the clothing through an evidence bag, triggering her innate tracking instincts. In her element, she wasted no time swiftly picking up the trail and leading Jerry through the forest with remarkable precision. Despite her retirement, Zena's proficiency was unparalleled, leaving Jerry in awe of her unparalleled olfactory prowess. After a brief 10-minute journey, Zena came to a halt, settling in the center of a clearing, her silent indication marking a crucial juncture in their investigation. This marked the origin of the scent trail. However, Zena seemed unable to detect anything beyond this point. Scrutinizing the area, Jerry noticed distinct tire tracks imprinted in the dirt, suggesting the culprit had arrived in a vehicle. This explained why Zena's tracking ceased here but provided no further leads. To progress, 
They needed more evidence to ascertain the situation. Returning to the police station, they embarked on a search for officers named Mike. Zena's return was met with jubilation, her presence revered in the department, a testament to her legacy. The reunion between Jerry and Zena was heartwarming, reminding everyone of the profound bond they shared. As Jerry commenced his search, it became evident that only one Mike had been part of the force in the past year, but he was no longer employed. Mick's dismissal, stemming from evidence tampering, raised eyebrows, especially considering the absence of an inquiry, a departure from standard protocol. Meanwhile, preliminary forensic results revealed the blood found at the scene matched Officer Mike's blood type, deepening the mystery. How could a doll be tainted with the blood of a former officer, yet the officer himself remained elusive? The presence of tire tracks only compounded their inquiries, leaving them with more questions than answers. The tire tracks matched the vehicle registered to Mike, prompting a visit to Officer Mike's residence for further inquiries. However, upon arrival, the house appeared deserted, with piles of uncollected mail accumulating on the porch. Despite the absence of any overt signs of distress, one neighbor revealed that Mike had been absent for several weeks or even months, having abruptly departed without explanation. While initially presumed to be on vacation, his prolonged absence, coupled with his altered behavior following his termination, raised suspicions. Notably, the neighbor recounted Mike's peculiar departure attire, his police uniform, despite his dismissal from the force. This detail added another layer of intrigue, prompting questions about its connection to the bloodied uniform discovered in the lab. Despite Jerry's efforts to discern any anomalies with Zena's keen senses, she indicated nothing awry within the house, leading them back to the office for further investigation. Their return was met by the police captain's disdainful gaze, questioning Zena's unexpected presence. Nevertheless, he promptly instructed Jerry to recuse himself from Mike's case, citing a potential conflict of interest due to Jerry's prior dismissal from the department. Jerry, harboring resentment towards the captain, begrudgingly acquiesced to the directive. Despite the captain orchestrating Zena's adoption without his knowledge while he was recuperating in the hospital, Jerry remained steadfast in his determination to uncover the truth behind the case. Aware that another officer might dismiss the matter due to the seemingly inconsequential nature of the doll, Jerry's intuition urged him to delve deeper, sensing there was more to the story than met the eye. Refusing to abandon his pursuit despite assuring the captain otherwise, Jerry persisted in his investigation. His persistence paid off when he stumbled upon a significant lead. Mike's grandfather's secluded cabin nestled within the woods. Sensing its potential as a hiding spot, Jerry enlisted Zena's assistance, and together they embarked on a search. What they stumbled upon left them stunned. The cabin's door ajar, and Mike emerging from the woods, his face battered and swollen. Attempting to flee upon sighting them, Mike was swiftly apprehended by Zena, albeit with initial panic giving way to relief as he realized they posed no threat. In a candid revelation, Mike disclosed the events leading to his dismissal, acknowledging his culpability in photographing confidential documents. However, he revealed that these documents unveiled a darker truth. Evidence of the captain's corrupt dealings, accepting bribes from a wealthy businessman to ignore criminal activities. Mike's termination stemmed from his attempts to expose these secrets, having been caught in the act by the captain himself. On the day in question, Mike donned his uniform for a scheduled meeting with the police chief, only to fall prey to an ambush en route. A damsel in distress with a flat tire lured him to a wooded area where three assailants emerged, citing displeasure with his investigative pursuits. Despite a narrow escape, he remained pursued, his attire stained with blood and his nerves frayed. Fearing for his safety and uncertain whom to trust, he concocted a desperate plan, dressing a CPR dummy in his uniform and depositing it within a hollow tree, hoping to divert attention and buy time. Forced into hiding, Mike found solace in Jerry's assurance of trust and commitment to uncovering the truth. However, their rendezvous was interrupted by an unexpected interloper. The captain emerged from concealment, brandishing a weapon and adamantly opposing their inquiry. Determined to safeguard his illicit endeavors, he anticipated Jerry and Zena's eventual discovery, a revelation that led to his swift apprehension by Zena's intervention and Jerry's subsequent arrest. With justice served, Mike was reinstated, and Jerry ascended to the rank of captain, bolstered by their successful dismantling of the corrupt businessman's empire. As they navigated through tumultuous times, another bittersweet farewell loomed. 
John's visit to retrieve his beloved dog, Xena. Despite his rightful claim, John recognized the unbreakable bond between Jerry and Xena, relinquishing ownership with a heavy heart. Embracing their continued companionship, he granted his blessing for their enduring partnership, finding solace in occasional walks together. In reflection, the tumultuous events underscored the unwavering bond between Jerry and Xena, a testament to their resilience and unity in confronting adversity. As Jerry assumed his role as captain, their shared strength and camaraderie fortified their resolve to overcome any challenge that lay ahead.